Diane and I wouldn't have seen each other now for close to 28 years. During that whole time, there hasn't been a day going by that I hadn't thought about it. Breaking up with Lauren was the biggest regret in my life. I don't think there'll be another one like her. She's everything that I want in a girl. It was like dating one of my good friends. I just miss just Meg. First love is definitely the one that hits you the hardest. He was my first true love, and I want to know if that's still there. What if the love of your life was also the one that got away? Tonight, after years apart, these four singles will reunite with the ex they just couldn't forget. Looking back on my relationship with Cam, it's nothing but happy memories. It was definitely love with Cam. There's no question about it. Diane is certainly the love of my life. I still can't believe it's happening. I hope that Lauren and I can maybe even fall in love all over again. But what they don't know is if their ex feels the same way about them. I just don't want to be hurt. I can't go through that heartache again. As anybody who puts their heart on the line, that's terrifying. My biggest fear is to give it another shot with him and then being let down. Kate was my number one person in my life. And after what happened, the trust was gone. In the ultimate second chance at love, <laughs> to us, our couples will turn back time. You gotta show me, show me. I love Marie! <laughs> to find out if the spark still remains. I feel like I'm a 40 year old boy right now. <laughs> Jeremy's a big ball of fun. I'm stuck! <laughs> and it makes you want to put all your worries aside. They'll work through what went wrong. You, no, you, Eric, you changed every part of me. Why can't you just love me for me? I can't do I'm sorry. <laughs> People are always arguing. For us to fall back into that pattern of arguments and fighting, that's the worst possible thing that could happen. There's absolutely no good way to tell someone that you've cheated on them. They'll show how they've changed. Yeah, I may not be the girl that you once knew and travel to some of the most romantic places in the world. I kind of get addicted to the drug of Meg. To make the final life-changing decision. This is everything I wanted to do. Will they recommit for life? I've never been so happy. <laughs> I just need 100% certainty from her that she's actually willing to let her guard down. Or walk away from each other for good. I want to be in love. I think a long distance relationship could be a deal breaker. We're going to go to pieces here in a minute. What will their decision be? Lauren's the one that got away. I was hoping that she'll come and feel the same way. Was their first love the one that truly got away? You have no idea how hard it is for me to say this. The first of our singles is 26-year-old builder Jeremy. It's been four years since he broke up with his girlfriend, Meg. And today, he's about to ask her for another shot at love. There's been a lot of build-up to this moment. It's been four years since I've seen Meg, and I just hope that Meg's as excited to see me as I am to see her. I'm very, very scared. I'm very, very nervous. My worst possible fear is that I say the wrong thing and make a bad impression on Meg. Meg and I were on and off for like seven years. We met at a party when I was 17. I remember I was thinking that Meg was hot. She's hot. She looked really just hot. I do think I was punching above my weight. I don't know how she ended up liking me, but I felt loved. She made me feel loved. There's definitely two sides of Meg. There's like the fun and happy Meg. <laughs> and then there's the angry, bitchy Meg. When things were good, they were really, really good. And when things were bad, they were really, really bad. We broke up because I left to go to Europe. Sad, the relationship ending. It was like dating one of my good friends. I want to be happy again with Meg. If it happens like that. Oh, goodness. I know that Jeremy wants to meet up with me. 
and I think he wants to give it another go. I was on and off with Jeremy till I was about 21. So on and off for nearly seven years. We've been separated now for four years. Jeremy definitely broke up with me. I was angry at Jeremy for ages. My biggest fear would be that Jeremy would hurt me again. My ex was a really, really big part of my life, but he broke my heart. I was definitely in love with Jeremy. Yeah, a lot, heaps, too much. Our relationship as a whole has been completely rocky and it's been full on and I've wanted to run so far away and Jeremy did run so far away. He ran all the way overseas to get away from me pretty much. I waited around a year for him to come back. So I didn't see anyone. I didn't speak to any boys. And then Jeremy came back and we started seeing each other again for a month or two and then he left again. And I feel really sad about it. Holy crap. I'm, I have no idea how I feel. I think it will come out when I see him. <laughs> hello, hello. Hey, Meg. Hey, mate. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good, did you get flowers? Yeah. Well, that's bloody cute. <laughs> oh, thank you. How are you? Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> it's been a bloody while. <sighs> so, nervous? I'm so nervous. You look really good. Thank you. Very, very pretty. <laughs> oh, I don't know how I feel. I feel anxious. Why? It's just me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. I want to cry. Why? I don't know why. It's all so overwhelming. I don't want to do this right now. Why? I don't know. I just don't because it was a whole big hype, and I, I just feel I've, now I feel overwhelmed. I feel, I feel really anxious, and do I don't. You? Yeah, I, I want to get up. I'm getting up. I'm getting up. I'm getting up. I feel sick. It's overwhelming. Really overwhelming. Our next single, Waiting for a Second Chance at Love, is 57-year-old Peter. He hasn't seen his ex, Diane, since they were in their 20s. Diane and I first met on my first trip to the US, which was back in 1988. It was like two jigsaw puzzle pieces together and we just really enjoyed just being around each other and we uh, managed to hang on to a long distance relationship for close to two years. It has been 28 years since I last saw Diane in person. I'm just nervous as hell inside and I just, I just know any minute she's going to walk up those stairs and I'm still struggling with what I'm going to say first. I'm most looking forward to just hearing her voice. 28 years, that's difficult to remember, so that's what I can't wait to hear first. I'm just hoping she's going to feel the same way when we see each other. <laughs> my name is Peter, I'm 57. <laughs> In my spare time, I spend a lot of time with my kids. Oh. Still a lot of the little boy inside me. If it wasn't for a few achy arthritic knees, I'd feel exactly the same. Since my divorce, it's been a tumultuous seven years. Certainly the unhappiest period of my life. And I'm ready for a new chapter. I first met my ex, Diane, in March of 88. One night, I saw her across the room, and our eyes just locked. We just started walking towards each other. It's just like an instant attraction. It was amazing. I'll never forget it. 
It just seemed like we were made for each other, not only mentally but physically, and the sex was just amazing. We were together remotely for close to two years. She was living in Florida, I was living in Sydney. There was definitely the tyranny of distance that put paid to our relationship at that time. Diane and I wouldn't have seen each other now for close to 28 years. During that whole time, there hasn't been a day gone by that I haven't thought about it. And I must be honest and say that happened during my marriage too, during those years. Not a day went by. Now, after many years apart, 50-year-old Diane has agreed to meet up with Peter again. I was 20 years old when I met Peter, and I saw him on and off for about two years. It has been 28 years, and it is coming to this moment when I'm about to see Peter. I can't believe it. She's flown halfway across the world from her home in North Carolina to hear what he has to say. I have no idea what's happened to him in 28 years. What has happened in his life? Peter and I had an amazing connection together. We had great chemistry. That is so important to me. I'm at a point in my life where if it's not incredible, I just don't want it. I'm Diane, I'm 50 years old, and I live in Durham, North Carolina. I'm a real estate agent, and I predominantly flip houses for a living. I was married for 18 years, and I've been divorced for eight and a half years. I have two children, and they're both off at college. I absolutely fell for Peter. It was romantic, it was intense, it was passionate. It was young love. At that time, I did think Peter could be the right one. There was just a lot of logistics to dating someone that lived halfway around the world. I have thought about what my life would be like if I had hopped on a plane to Australia. But a long time has passed since I was with Peter. And now, I don't think I know Peter very well at all. It may sound stupidly romantic, but Diane has made it out of my head since I first met. I am looking forward to seeing Peter's big, bright smile and his voice, his Australian accent. I remember always made me excited. I can't believe this. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I can't believe you come all this way to see me. Hello. Hello. I'm good. How are you? Oh, <laughs> Look at you. Oh You're taller than I remember. It's I have heels, shoes. yes. Oh, yes, so. hi. I don't think you wore heels back then. I, right? don't, I don't wear them now. <laughs> Oh, my oh, God. I, I recognize your voice uh, now. I just, do you I, do? I just, yeah? Uh -huh. never spoken for so long. No. Now. I'm speechless, and I'm usually never <laughs> speechless. It hasn't hit me yet. I honestly don't think no. it's hit me yet. <laughs> no. Well, you look great. You would have a seat. You do? Yes, yes. So, divorced? Yep, divorced, yep. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, that was seven years ago now. Okay. And you've been divorced for, what, for about nine eight, years. Nine years, yeah. yeah. So it seems to, perhaps to most of us these days, it appears. <laughs> Peter Facebook friended me about six years ago. I don't really know anything about him except we were young loves. So why not give it a shot? Here is to just the most exciting next few weeks ahead. And welcome to Australia. And I thank you so much for coming all this way to see me. I truly mean that. Well, thank you. They'll now spend the next three weeks together before deciding if their relationship has a future. After being apart for four years, Meg and Jeremy's reunion hasn't lasted five minutes. I'm getting up. I'm getting up. I'm getting up. I feel sick. It's overwhelming. Really overwhelming. Meg sort of lost her shit and then ran into the girls' toilets and I don't know if she's going to come back anytime soon. It was uncomfortable. It was 
the whole situation is uncomfortable to meet up with somebody you haven't seen in age. I don't know, that whole situation and sitting there and trying to talk and I, I just, I don't know. I don't want to talk about it. She just seemed really nervous. It wasn't her. She was, she's just nervous about this whole thing, I think. I'm really sorry. It's all right. Everything started going. You're all right? Yeah, I feel better once I've had a sip. Oh, goodness. Hi. Hi. <laughs> you want to start again? <laughs> yeah. I think I need to. Cheers. Cheers, mate. Mm. So what's been happening? They're actually really pretty. Did you pick them? Yeah, I did. <laughs> oh, Kirby. Holy moly. <laughs> <laughs> I obviously asked you for a reason. And the reason was to give it another, uh, us, like me and you, another chance. Mm -hmm. I genuinely do want to give it another shot and see how me and you can, like, work out, if we can try and work it out. Are you willing <laughs> to give it a, a shot? I'm not going to say no. I was really in love with Jeremy, and for us to get back together, things are definitely going to have to change. I'm actually happy I'm here. I'm happy I'm more settled right now. Let's just see where it takes us. See what happens. It's good. Also hoping for the best is workaholic Eric who's waiting to meet the one that got away, his 34-year-old ex, Lauren. I hope that my ex, Lauren and I, can have a relationship again, maybe even fall in love all over again. Lauren and I were together for six years and have been separated for six years. On a daily basis, she crosses my mind. I'm Eric, I'm 36, I'm an IT manager. When Lauren and I first met 11 years ago, she was gazing at me across the dance floor. She came up to me, she flirted with me a bit, and attraction grew from there, and ultimately, we fell in love. And because I was busy with work, Lauren and I would spend Sundays together. Time is very scarce, and my work took preference. Lauren didn't take that very lightly at all. Laura and I broke up six times over six years. So we averaged once a year. The sixth time was the biggest regret in my life. I miss her a lot. I don't think there'll be another one like her. I'm nervous because I haven't seen Eric for so long and I'm not sure how Eric's going to react to see me, but hopefully it's a good outcome. <laughs> yeah, I just don't know what to expect. My name's Lauren, I'm 34. Are you excited? I'm so excited. Most of my girlfriends are all married with children. Oh. I'm living the single life and they're all living the family life. I do wish to be married and have children one day. I've always wanted a little daughter, so, and I just can't wait to get married. Eric is the type of guy I usually go for. Very genuine, tall, dark and handsome, <laughs> and he makes me laugh. One of my favourite memories with Eric was a trip to New York. It was just an amazing place to be. The lights and the buzz around and, you know, having your best friend there that you love so much. Eric and I were together for six years and we've been separated for six years now. I haven't experienced that type of meaningful love with anyone else. But Eric controlled our relationship. Eric was a workaholic. Eric made the rules in regards to how often I got to see him. It was one day a week. 
Things started to go wrong in our relationship when Eric started to push me away. But I'm willing to see if he has changed, if he could commit to a relationship just as much as I committed to our relationship in the past. Eric was the love of my life, so I am willing to give him a second chance. I would like to think that he is matured, but if Eric hasn't changed, I don't see much of a future for us. My heart is just pumping straight out through my chest. I'm feeling like a train wreck. I know it'll be different this time. I've learnt from my mistakes and I'm ready to commit to Laura. She is absolutely beautiful. It's so good to see you. It's here. And still. Oh, God. My heart's beating my throat. <laughs> you and <me> both. <laughs> I didn't think you were going to come. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. My first impression was wow. Yeah. You look amazing. Oh, thank you. You do. You're making me nervous. <laughs> my neck is blowing in my face, sorry. You're still staring at me. Sorry. <laughs> You're making me nervous. It's been almost six years. Meeting with Eric is more romantic than what I imagined it to be. He's a lot more welcoming than he ever has been. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't remember him being so happy to see me. I have been thinking about you for the last six years. Good stuff or bad? Oh, both. <laughs> I know we have past history, dramas and issues. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm looking forward to getting to know this new Eric because I want to see if we can actually make a real goal of a relationship. I'm not the same person that I was when we were together. So you may be surprised. <laughs> At the new you? Yes, the new Good. me. But I'm willing to see, you know, what can happen. I'm really excited. Me too, yeah. me too. The initial meeting went pretty good. She hasn't changed. It's like time has frozen and she's exactly the way I remember her from six years ago. <laughs> A lot of things could go wrong here. He may be exactly the same as he was and I may get my heart broken all over again. Our last single, Waiting for a Chance at Love with an Ex, is Kate. She's hoping that after three years apart, her 24-year-old high school sweetheart, Cam, shows up for the rendezvous. Cam and I have been broken up now for almost three years. First love is definitely the one that hits you the hardest. There's nothing after that that can ever compare. Oh my God, what if he doesn't come? I want to get back with my ex because he was my first true love and I want to know if that's still there. Hello, my name's Kate. I'm going to be doing your facial today. I'm Kate, I'm a 22 year old beauty therapist from Brisbane. The first time I saw Cam was at school. I remember seeing him and being absolutely sort of gobsmacked. I was like, who is this guy? I need to know him. <laughs> Cam is weird as hell, and I think that was the biggest thing that attracted me to him. He wasn't like other guys, he really didn't take life seriously. That was the most attractive part about him. We were completely smitten with each other. There was nothing that went wrong, ever. It was perfect. Cam is so romantic. I would get notes all the time. He would leave me love letters. Love from the Seamoster. <laughs> He would always leave me little presents around the place. I think at the end of the day, Cam and I sort of took each other for granted. We were in a bit of a rut. And then there was the cheating. And that was the straw that broke the camel's back. When that happened, it was really heartbreaking. 
It took me a long time to be able to move on from that. My time apart from Cam has made me realise how much he did love me. I guess I took it for granted a little bit. I miss Cam heaps. I miss going on adventures. Being able to come home at the end of the day and just tell him what I've been doing or ask him for advice, ask him to help. He was always there whenever I needed him. Mike's Kate has asked me to meet up with her. It's been three years since we broke up and I'm struggling to understand why she's wanting to see me. I did think about not coming to meet her because of what's happened in the past, but I guess I've still got that warm feeling in my stomach and um, I guess I do miss her. How are you guys? I'm good. My name's Cam, I'm 24 years old and I'm a bartender. The first time I saw Kate was the most incredible feeling I've ever felt. I thought she was the most beautiful girl that I've ever seen. I had a huge crush on Kate. It took me a year and a half to finally tell her that I really liked her. We first kissed when we were in the car by the lake and I remember being a little bit cheeky and I offered her a massage and I sort of worked my way from there. <laughs> It was young love. We just never wanted to be separated from each other. I did think Kate and I were going to be together forever. Ultimately, it did end because of cheating. She got drunk at a party and slept with another man. The trust was gone. And I live by the motto, forgive, never forget. And I will always live by that. What makes me nervous is that maybe we are just friends. Maybe we can't get that spark back. Maybe it's just not there anymore. I have never been this nervous before. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hi. How are you? Good. Oh, my God, you look so good. Speak for yourself. Holy cow. How, How are, are you? you? Good. Oh, so oh my good God. to see you. You yeah, too. Look at you. You look amazing. You've grown a few more chest hairs, I've noticed. Yes, I have, actually. I'm quite proud of it. <laughs> wow. I, I, I did actually shave it all off at one point, and then it grew about 10 times faster. But yeah, wow. Do you like it? <laughs> I'm, I'm not opposed to the idea. <laughs> Maybe we'll wax it off. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't believe you're here. You're actually here. I've just been amping myself up all morning. Like, will he come? Won't you come? Will he come? Won't you come? You came. Of course. <sighs> I think the most nervous thing for me was the fact that I actually did put myself out there and, and asked to meet 100%. up with you, so... And that made me feel awkward, because normally it would probably be the opposite. So you're, you're actually saying you're keen to give it a, a shot? Of course I am. I'm, I'm actually excited for this to happen. I'm, I'm still, like, I'm still very confused. I am very confused, but I just... I'm very keen for it. Me too. Come here. Oh, no! <laughs> that was so Jesus, awkward. Jesus, you can't just yes, come can. at me with a kiss no, like no, that. Just, no, I was just coming at you with a hug. This completely took me off guard, actually. I thought that was a bit awkward. <laughs> he needs to take things a little bit more slow so that we can both get comfortable. Cheers. With the Cheers, awkwardness man. of first meetings done and dusted, our exes will now spend three weeks together to decide if their relationship is worth another go. For Peter and Diane, rekindling their lost romance has been a long time coming. This is where we're going for dinner. Thank you. It's been 28 years since they've seen each other. I'm feeling just like a teenager on his first date. I guess I'm a little out of practice at this, but I know it'll come back to me quickly. This is lovely. Isn't it? Fantastic, are you? I'm so excited. I mean, it's, it's, it's like a first date again after, well, a long, long time. It, well, I guess it is, isn't it, really? It is. <laughs> I'm going to get closer. Is that all right? Yeah. OK. 
you probably remember this, but I met you on my first trip to the US. Was it your first trip? That was trip? my first ever trip, yeah. It was like it was meant to be. I still recall us locking eyes, and it was a beautiful smile on yeah. that. I just, wow. You know, I know, I and remember. It's, uh, and I, it's imprinted in my brain. Oh, I'll never forget that. Wow. Yeah, it was a bit of a whirlwind that first day, I do, and night, I do remember. You hung out with me, and I remember going back and forth to classes, and I would wear your yeah. sweater. Do you remember yeah, that's your right, I do sweater? remember that. Yeah. <laughs> it was like a whirlwind, and then you were gone. For the few short times that we were together, it's, um, you know, I mean, you imprinted in my brain and my heart, and it's been there ever since, and that's... Well, I remember calling you once. Um, after you left New York, I called you in the middle of the night because I didn't know the time differences, and you picked up. Yep. And we talked for about 10 minutes. And I think I called and told you, I miss you terribly. I was, do you remember that? I just said, I, am, I miss you so much. And it was, I hung up and went, what am I doing? This is so costly, even to make a phone call. We're so far away. And I remember just sort of distancing myself because I thought, how, what do I do? I can't even talk to you, you know? Yeah, I think. Remember that? I just look, I, I do remember, and I that. think yeah. we both probably started distancing ourselves because of, at the, the time, distance. there was yeah. probably, we perceived some impracticality, and it yeah. was really difficult. But, uh, but uh, you know, you, you've never left my mind. The day hasn't gone by that I've never thought about you once. No. Seriously, that's how. Uh, that's quite romantic. Yep. I just don't want it to end, to be frank with you. <laughs> I really mean that. Very sweet. It is a little overwhelming to hear that Peter says that he's thought about me so much over the years. I just need time to process it and believe it, that he has strong feelings for me in that way without really knowing me. Was that song that you so long? All our singles have reunited with their former loves. They'll spend the next three weeks together as couples <laughs> to see if their ex was the one. Excited to go to dinner with you again. For Eric, this first date with Lauren is his chance to show he's worth a second chance after his obsessive workaholic lifestyle destroyed their six year relationship. So, what's changed with you? In what sense? Like, what's changed in your life? Like, if we were to move forward, yeah. what would be, would be different? Like, I mean, would you have more time for me now, or...? Of course I would. I'm not working as much. I'm looking more towards the future, where I'm not as young as I used to be, so I'm trying to keep up. We well, still look exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> so do you. Actually, you look a little bit younger. Yeah, because I'm not stressed out from you. <laughs> oh. Jeez, that one's a big bit of a blow there. Lauren is on the attack as soon as we sit down. Out come the questions. It's very daunting, scary, but I'm up for the challenge. So why did you want to give it another chance with me? Because I realised after we broke up that as much as there were bad times, there was way more good times. So you don't think this is just um, a case of you wanting something that you couldn't have again, so... It's like when, the, when you take the toys away from the child yeah. and then they cry and then you give them back and they're like, oh, I don't want it anymore. Is, you mean, is it exactly like that? Yeah. No. I feel like I'm in a sweat box at the moment. It's like good cop, bad cop from Lauren. My needs and wants have actually changed a lot. And how's that? Well, I've got more time for us. Mm -hmm. um, how much time? <laughs> how much time would you like? Oh, more than one day a week. Of course. That's granted. The, the person I'm seeing now, he just seems all perfect. And yes, Lauren, no Lauren, and that's not what I'm used to. So I just, I really want to see the old Eric, but a changed old Eric. I mean, you're more than welcome to stay over anytime you like. OK, well, let's cheese to that. Cheese to that. More than one day a week. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel he's just trying to make me believe that he's changed, but I'm not convinced. What do you feel like? Something good. For Jeremy, this first date, after their four-year separation, is his chance to show Meg exactly what she's been missing. Jeremy! 
me. <laughs> I want to make Meg feel heaps happy tonight. This is like the first time we're going out, spending time together. These are the kind of things she'll remember, like me, how I am, how I'm acting. Yay, Turkish delight. So I've really got to make Meg feel like she really wants to be here. It turns by itself, doesn't it? Jeremy's a big ball of fun and he makes you want to laugh and he makes you want to have fun and he kind of makes you want to put all your worries aside. Oh, we're going to empty the machine. <laughs> so if he's like that and he's having a good time, then it rubs off. All right. Get in, Pete. Go back and wipe. I thought I'd make a bit of a move and gave her a little bit of a kiss on the cheek. She sort of took it really well, so, yeah. That was, like, just a little sort of throwing it out there. Let's check out this place. Date night's also Kate's moment to rekindle romance with high school sweetheart Cam after their three-year separation. We'll call this a date, shall we? Oh, God, yeah, OK. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, it's a date. What else is new with you? What don't I know? Surprise me. I don't... I don't know. It's like... You got me on the spot a bit. Um... I'm stoked to see her, but I'm trying to figure out why we are where we are right now. So, did you think about not coming today? Yeah. What made you come? Well... I know, and you know, there's always that, that something just churning in your tummy, eh? Your palmy. It's not my palmy. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a dick. It's good just being able to joke around with him and tease him like I used to. It's fun to be able to just hang out again. Have you had a girlfriend since me? No. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the standards are like up there. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <What> you wish. <laughs> I don't know. Just hasn't been easy for me, I guess, to get into another relationship after three years of like what I thought was awesome. Over the last couple of years, I have struggled to get close to other people. I did build these walls to keep people out because of what happened. What about you? Oh. Did I... you have? I've had um, a few boyfriends actually. Um, <laughs> yeah, I've had a few, but, you know, nothing that's really been as lengthy as when we were together. They didn't compare. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we were together for ages, especially being so young, it, feel, it felt like forever, so. Yeah. I want Cam to be happy. He deserves all the happiness in the world. Can I try your beer? If that's with me or if that's with someone else, we'll see what happens. There you go. Oh, stop it. There you go. After their first date, our exes are heading back to their hotel. Each couple has been given two rooms for two days, where they'll get reacquainted in luxury. So how's that for the dinner? That was beautiful. What was your favourite part? <laughs> <laughs> On the way back to the hotel, Laura and I are happy, still chattery, but then things take a little bit of a turn. You're not, like, who I'm used to. What do you mean? I don't know, it's like you're trying to be in your best behaviour. I am trying to be on my best behaviour. I'm trying to prove, prove to you, like, I actually speak louder than words. I'm not used to you just being so, like, sweet and staring at me. And... Lauren, it's been, like, six years, and I, this is the first day I've seen you. I'm sorry for staring at you. You Siri? think I'm gawky? To me, it feels a bit fake. Like, it's I appreciate it, compliments and I appreciate you appreciating me. Yes. But making me see that you're staring at me to make me feel, oh, he's looking at me. Like, that's not what you ever used to do. So maybe I'm just not used to it, but... I used to stare at you. I never saw it. It's, you're just saying it feels forced because it's not familiar. You're trying to put on a show to say, look, I've changed. I don't want to see that. Uh, no, no, no. I need to feel it like okay. a genuine, and right now I don't feel you're being genuine. Right. This is defensive, Lauren. This is a new side to Lauren I haven't seen. No, maybe it's me. Like, maybe yeah. I've... I don't know. I just... Maybe I've grown, like, so much. And I've learnt now not to take any crap from anyone. 
me as a person, like I've gotten so strong. Yeah. You may not recognise who I am now. I'm, I'm a little confused by what she was talking about. This does appear to be one step forward, two steps back. I had heaps of fun tonight. Did you? Yeah, I did. It was actually good. I had a good time. Glad. How do you feel about the next <laughs> week? I'm excited, Meg, to spend some time with you and give this a shot. I know you probably don't believe me. You're finding it very hard to believe me, but I actually genuinely do want to give it a shot, eh? Do you genuinely want to give it a shot? Yeah, I do want to give it a shot, but I don't know, we'll just... I guess time. Time tells all. I don't want to fight with you anymore. Good. We fight all the time. I feel completely the same. I don't want to argue at all. And I reckon the best way to make this work... ..is if you just agree with me. <laughs> Back at the hotel, our exes have each been given their own rooms. Where they choose to sleep is up to them. It's been a fun day, huh? Oh, well, well, I hasn't finished yet. No, I know. I think this is my room? Yes. Well, thank you for a lovely day. It's been so wonderful getting to reconnect with you and to explore what possibilities are here. And yes. I think we've had a wonderful start, haven't we? I think we have, right. yes. Okay. Good night. I didn't expect it to be this sad walking into such a pretty room. It was very, very sad to walk in and see rose petals and not be a Peter and I sort of sweeping them off or rolling into them or something. But I really want to um, take it slower, but there's time. That's what I like about this process is there's time and we're young. Rose petals strewn on the bed. I can't remember the last time that happened. And the champagne, well, two glasses, I might add. So that's maybe hinting something. But um, I'm always a gentleman. So first night, can't wait for tomorrow. What tomorrow may bring. Thanks, mate. Thank you. I hope she comes back to my room for a drink because I just don't want the the night to end yet. Thank you. Mm. Fancy schmancy. This is nice. <laughs> very nice, Meg. Oh my goodness. It's very nice, isn't it? Mm hmm Very big bed too. <laughs> isn't it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I just I feel clouded and I feel stressed out now. I think when I get like headstrong about something, then that's it, it's, it's done. If I try and change her mind or anything right at this moment, it's not gonna work. She just needs a space and it's not, it's not gonna help if I try it or just make it worse. I, I'm really not in the mood to do this at all. She's a very hard person to please. Night. Maybe he is giving it more of a go than what I am. And it's a waste of time, maybe. Meg's just not really happy at the moment. She's just tired and wants to go to sleep. Very nice. Very, very nice. Got a spa and everything. <laughs> and it's already warmed up. Meg doesn't know what she's missing out on. <sighs> Today was really good. I had heaps of fun with Meg. We had a great night. To end it like this is just, I don't know, just Meg, I guess. Well, it was fun. Yeah, no, I had heaps of fun, actually. 
Um, Where are we? So I'm on this side. Um, yeah. Cool. So we'll oh, be neighbours tonight. I had, uh, yeah. You sure? Yeah. I cool. think we'll stay in separate rooms tonight. But yeah, no, that's I fine. I'm fine fun. with that. Me too. Cool. Had a really fun time. Thank you. Yeah, me too. It was good to see you. OK, see you in tom tomorrow, I guess. Thank you. I actually don't know how to open the door. I don't know how to open the door either. Oh my god, this is so embarrassing. Oh my god, how do I open my own okay. door? Oh my god. Ugh. If this wasn't Kate, I probably wouldn't look for a second date because of the awkwardness I guess we shared today and it just didn't seem like it worked. I think we're both looking forward to the next date, um, very much so. Um, but, you know, I do pray that it uh, doesn't go as awkwardly as it did today. There was a few awkward moments. Um, number one being when Cam first tried to kiss me. Number two being when I tried to kiss Cam and then couldn't get into my door. Ugh, I was the worst. I wish I could just replay that whole thing, just rewind, take myself back up the hallway and just do it all over again. It was so embarrassing. <laughs> I'm still on a high. Today's been one bit of an emotional roller coaster. Lauren's still got her guard up, but the spark's still there, so I'm getting to know her a bit more. Casino buffet. Yes. <laughs> Remember we used to come here? Yeah. That's pretty cool, eh? We do have a bit of issues to actually work out, but that's all part of the fun. It was uh, fun catching up and... It was, it was great. And seeing you. Seven, three. Oh, this is me. This is you. <laughs> so, great. I'm okay. here. So... Well, thank you for a lovely evening. You're most welcome. And I am going to hit the sack because I'm really tired. OK, that's good. So, I'll see you tomorrow? I hope so. Okay. <laughs> Thanks so much. It's good to see you. You too. All right, good night. I think he may have got to be a little bit upset when I basically said good night. I think he was thinking that he was staying the night, so... Um, yeah, but that's not what I had planned. This is pretty sweet. Too bad she's not around to see it. Romantic room, champagne on ice, two glasses, yeah. But the percentage that Lauren would actually knock on my door and make moves on me, probably zero to nothing because she seems like she's got her wall up. But. Good things come to those who wait. And I'll wait. Because I have to. It's been six years, a couple of days, a couple of weeks, a couple of months. It's not going to kill me. No, she's worth it.